But five, the young man killed in a shooting at Worcester State University over the weekend has been identified as 19-year-old Randy Melendez Jr. from Southbridge. The suspect, 18-year-old Kevin Rodriguez, is still on the loose. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Worcester. And Louisa, the school canceled classes today because of what happened over the weekend. Well, Lisa, and court documents describe some of the chaos that unfolded here Saturday morning. We're talking 150 people roughly yelling and screaming, gunshot victims in two different places. So it's understandable why kids are still shaken and the increased police presence. That's the sound of gunfire ringing out at Worcester State University. Students huddled in their dorms, confused and alarmed. Oh my God. They like fireworks, right? Dude, I don't know. And after the shots came screaming. Bro. It's sad because now I feel like anything is like triggering to people here. Now students like this one are afraid as the search continues for the man police say fired some of the shots, 18-year-old Kevin Rodriguez, who's considered armed and dangerous. Police and court documents state that Rodriguez and others drove into a parking lot on campus early Saturday morning and Rodriguez fired a gun four times. When police arrived, they found 19-year-old Randy Armando Melendez Jr. from Southbridge suffering from gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Another person was also also shot and is expected to survive. Police found 18-year-old Richard Nieves in the nearby woods and arrested him on a gun charge. But Rodriguez, who has ties to Lawrence, is still on the loose. So the um, people who are all involved in the shooting don't go here. Um, you know, we're all like kind of questioning why were they here? Are they connected to anyone that goes here? You know, someone's dead, so it's like someone's got to be mad. It's someone's son. It's someone's someone's friends. Investigators say none of the people involved in the shooting go to WSU, but the campus remained closed Monday. Police therapy dogs even made a visit, hoping to provide some comfort. It's hard, you know. It's not, it's not something I would expect. Um, you know, I'm kind of just taking it day by day. Now, coming up at 6, I'll tell you about some other incidents that also have local college students on edge. Live in Worcester, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you. Take